Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant. My name is William Juma. In this video, I would like us to talk about how to create custom pages in filament and use uh, filament tables on our custom pages. As a scenario, sometimes there are ways in which your table can be populated without you using the create and uh, edit uh, methods. And so, you may only require to just have your records listed and that is all that maybe is required for example in a payment gateway where payments are being sent from an api to our application we will not require to do anything more than just displaying the payments for the person who is authorized to be able to see those payments so how can we be able to just do that the best way is using a custom filament page. I would like to mock uh, some payment uh, model and then we can be able to use the custom filament page and then be able to show whatever payment transactions that are there that have been able to come to our website. So I'm going to create a model, PHP artisan make model. And the name of our model is payment model i want to have migration in factories because i would like to generate some uh, values in the payment factories and since this is an example for explanation i would just like our um, factory to have two things which is um, the payment reference and the payment reference i just wanted to be a random string and it can be uh, 10 uh, of a length 10 and then I also want us to have an amount which we can uh, have it as a um, fake uh, number between so uh, numbers between maybe a thousand and uh, ten thousand like that I will of course uh, import the eliminate support string to assist us in uh, creating the payment records in our migration i will also have the two tables so again the payment reference and the amount so here we are going to have table string payment reference underscore reference and then uh, uh, table maybe integer amount i should have used this mode but it's okay this is just a demo for whatever it is that we want to do in uh, that case i also want us to have the cedar and in our cedar we can be able to just change this one and use payment so payment factory and i want us to create 100 records P php artisan migrate uh, fresh then we can see it so we have been able to create the tables and also seed it with um, the 100 records so now we need to display that record in our dashboard and so the best way in which we are going to do instead of creating a resource we will just create a page so php artisan make filament hyphen uh, page in the name of our page we will call it uh, payment transactions i hit enter and i want it to just create it inside um, not in a resource but just in uh, the admin panel i would like to just log in since I need to create a test user, so let me just uncomment what we have here. And then uh, uh, PHP artisan db seed, so such that it will be able to create for us that user. So we have test user test at example.com. And then if I sign in, we are logged in and we have our custom page which is called payment transactions 
And so when we open that page, it has nothing. But when we create a custom page, it comes with uh, two things. So if we go to app uh, filament, we have a page called, we have pages and we have payment transaction. And so in the payment transaction, this is what we have. And remember, this one is more or less like a, a live wire component. You can be able to just work with it the same way you would work with a live, live wire component. Then inside resources views, we have filament pages and we have payment uh, transactions.blade.php. So those two values. As I've mentioned, this can just be worked with the way this in a similar way in which you can be able to work with any other live wire component. For example, I would like to declare a property here which I'm going to call public um, name, and we will have uh, my name is William, like that as a property. If we go to our class, I mean, if we go to our blade view, which is payment transaction, and pass in name, the variable name, then automatically you can be able to access that property being listed here. So basically it means that the possibility of customization that is open to you once you create a custom page is that is actually out of this world. So I want to go ahead and create a table and then pass in the values. So we will go to our class again, where we have our class. I will remove this one here. I remove this. And I need to declare which model this um, page will be using. So I'm going to have protected protected uh, static uh, string and we will have model and the model is a payment model so we have payment class we will import the payment model above here as i can see we have so many of them so let me just type uh, we can say use app models payment and then after that, we need to import, I will use the filament table. Of course, we can be able to just pass in the data and pick a, a Tailwind CSS table and put it in our, in our page here and be able to just show our records. We can do that. But filament has good custom, customized uh, tables that uh, you can be able to work with and their data tables and they're nice. So what I want is to try and use that one. So the first thing that I would like to do is to, to add on a class payment transaction extends page, I want to have implements and I want it to be implements has table. Implements has table. And then I will import has table and it has to be filament tables contracts has table, this one here. After that, I need to pass in that it, it uh, that to use interacts with table and also import interacts with table. I have mistyped, yes, interacts with table and pass it above like that. So I have the classes imported and now I can go ahead and have public table function and we will pass in table and the return type is still table. Inside here, what it is that we are going to have, maybe we can ensure that we import table also above and what we are importing is filaments tables table. So basically, this is what we are importing above here. And after doing that, then we can be able to go ahead and return our table and also pass in our model. So return table. And then we can be able to chain a query. And inside here, we can pass in the model with which we are working with. So in this case, how you pass in payment uh, query. And you can be able to uh, continue and uh, do a little bit more uh, customization. Or generally, you can even be able to just pass in the payment class. 
here. But let us try and continue and see what happens. So then after that, we need columns, columns, and we need uh, maybe if your table you require to have filters, and also if your table you require to have actions, and if also you require to have something like bulk actions, like that. So basically those are the things that you can be able to pass in here. And I believe this should be payment class, but let us just check and see. After that, we can be able to, inside our columns, have the two columns. So text, uh, column, make. And what we need is um, payment reference. Then we can also have text, column, uh, make. Let me just pass in the amount without a lot of without a lot of uh, customization and all that. We need to import uh, text column. So above here we need to have filament tables columns text column, and then that will almost be it. So let us go to our resources views, and we go to payment transaction. And inside here, what we can also we can be able to just pass in is a uh, this uh, table and once we do that we can be able to have our payment transactions table displayed nicely now you can see it has the pagination we have some 200 results and you can be able to move alongside the pagination and do whatever it is that you want so as you can see whatever it is that we have that we have done in the blade file is just passing in the table and then inside our payment transactions we have this as a table schema and then we pass it to the view so basically that is how you can be in a position to create a custom table and be able to use the filament table within your custom table and then continue like that so if you desire to add any other actions, you can be able to pass them in these um, functions here. So the filters, the actions, the bulk actions, you can pass them here and they will be represented in a perfect way. So basically that is how you can be able to work with this. Thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this point. If you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you like the video, you can give us a thumbs up. Thank you.